clown maze hot cave action and photo op let's get it done hey people this is Stuart smith from Stuart designs if you are new to the channel i paint monsters for a living painted all over the world and we're close to home working on a lobby cave area and a photo op uh two hallways and um we're gonna sit there and finish up doing um a hardcore coat durabon today and then start putting in a cement coat of uh with the hopper gun so once that's done we'll paint her up and this section will be done which is phase two of the cave and then phase three will be uh completing the waterfall and making it blend into the rocks so i really appreciate you coming on board please subscribe uh, we'll have some more videos in the description below. And if you'd like to support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description below as well. If you'd like to make a one-time, non-commitment type gift, really appreciate it. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you on the next video. You take care. All right. This here is the photo op area. And the owner may also use this for when the radio stations come and kind of hang out with the customers and they'll set up the area in here. So this is ready to go. I got the Durabond on. It's almost dry, getting ready to uh, use the old hopper gun. And uh, we came along and put uh, some foam in certain areas and then we used the Durabond around it, like in this area here and here just kind of blend it in and that's gonna look great once it's through a bond these are the thermoform panels and i just kind of blend those in some of them had little uh, sharp edges on it so we just kind of gack those bad boys in this right here was cut off so the wood was exposed from the framing and so we just clean that up and then these are the hallways so in here is where I finished all that area. And then they will come down the stores, kind of an emergency door, and they'll come down the hallway. And I cleaned up a bunch of areas where there were sharp edges. This is actually a column, the actual building, and uh, blended that in. I'll come around the corner. And then there's another access door right here. And we just got done cleaning all that up. And then this right here. And they kind of put a foam tree in here. And we, uh, you can still see the strap. They had to strap this bad boy in. And so we cleaned it up. And then with the Durban, we were able to do cool looking shapes like that. And come through. And then this area would lead you right into the photo op area. So we're gonna get to foaming here pretty on the hopper gun in here pretty quick. I just wanna wait for certain areas to dry and then we're gonna be conquering. Boom. All right, we're getting the concoction going here. This is just any color of paint I can find. So they're all latex or acrylic, water base. And so we got almost three quarters of a bucket and we're getting ready to add our cement and sand into it. Okay, got our paint here. We're gonna add in a healthy portion of the Portland cement. So we're just gonna keep on pouring it right on top. <coughs> <clears throat> Don't worry about it clumping or anything like that because we're going to blend it up real good. Now the great thing about this, if you've got a bunch of paint sitting around and seen better days and you really don't have any use for it, I would just stow it away for some of this foam coating situation and uh, it will help out greatly uh, cutting down your costs. It is a very economical way of Give it a nice hard coating without spending a bunch of money on all that fancy stuff. <coughs> okay, now that we got the Portland in there, we add in some play sand. Now all this stuff 
the sand. <coughs> Sorry, people. I, uh, I think I'm coming down with something. Uh, the sand, Portland cement, the Dura Barn we've been using, all available at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards. Uh, I've spent a great many years finding things that are just easy to acquire that any Joe Blow can get and uh, repurposing them for just set thing. So the beautiful thing about this too, you mix this bad boy up and she's ready to go. When you get called to lunch, you don't have to worry about it. This stuff will sit here for hours. And then we're gonna blend her up real good. Take your time with it. You don't want great big clumps or you're gonna have a heck of a time with the hopper gum. A lot of stuff will sit there to settle to the bottom. If you wanna just bring that up. And again, it doesn't matter what color it is, people. We just want to put the coating on. Later on, we will paint, we'll paint it whatever we want. Now, if you want to get, you know, tricky with it, you could go and just get your cheap black paint and hop again with that and then come along and touch up. But right now, the gentleman I'm working for has paint delivered all the time that they can't sell. So it just sits back on the shelf. So it is perfect for doing what we want to do here. Yeah, I'm running it on the bottom and taking it around, bring it back up. Boom. She is ready to rock. That's going to be awesome. So there you go, people. That is a great way. And uh, we're going to get to hopper gunning shortly. Now, I like to get a bucket have it sitting on the bottom and you're able to take the hopper gun and just balance it real nice on there so you can pour the stuff in now this stuff is about well it's gonna be heavy number one <laughs> number two it's a little bit thicker in cream of wheat there you go normally I like to go about halfway because I've already doused my head with it because I wasn't paying attention and it's, it gets top heavy. So she is ready to spray. So let's get that going. Oh, and uh, another point, make sure you're wearing a mask. This stuff flies everywhere. You don't want to get it in your lungs. Uh, the cement will expand. Um, not a good thing. So make sure you're wearing a decent mask. I'm gonna do springs. a little spray here. Show you guys a great methodology for it. I won't be wearing my mask. You can hear what I'm saying. So for a brief time, it's not going to kill me. So we got our copper gun halfway full. A lot of times I got this nifty little, little thing right here. Turn your air on. Makes a lot of ratchet. Sometimes you have a problem, you put your finger in front of it. to let it build up and run a little bit because as it's going down the wall it's going to attack some of the froze and the bumps and everything and it's going to shoot in different ways and it creates all sorts of cool patterns that will dry hard so you can paint it and this normally is about a 24 hour dry time so just fyi <laughs>
<laughs> See, I told you, gotta be careful. <laughs> Give me a heck of a time getting that out. <laughs> working man that's how we roll yeah you know I earn my keep so uh, people thank you so much for watching I hope you learned something apply it to your establishment and uh, hey again there are videos in the description below and uh, pay the link as well if you like to support the channel and hey you all have a great day and we will see you in the next video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and hit that little bell let you know when new videos go up and they go up all the time. I'm a busy guy. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.